Kilimanjaro multi-tool. This could be a good EDC, everyday carry. Could be a little heavy, a little bulky. Let's open up the package and see what we have. Sam's Club, less than $20. Kilimanjaro. Let's buzz in a little bit close here on the back of the package. Of course we have the knife, the double cut file, a saw blade, a Phillips screwdriver, a bottle opener, slotted screwdriver, wire cutter, a crimper, long nose pliers, comes with the storage sheath, and a little flashlight. Magnus Ultimate Multi-Tool, full-size serrated blade, stainless steel tools. Where are the specifications? With blade extended, 10.1 inch, close length, 6.3 inch, blade length, 3.9 inch, weight, 14.8 ounces. Hmm getting up to almost handgun weight there. <laughs> this still may be a very good knife to carry with you in the back country if you're out camping. Even if you're just out messing around. I know a lot of times I need a pair of wire cutters or I need to use this or that. Need a knife. Even need a saw blade a lot of times. Screwdriver all the time. Pair of pliers they do come in handy. Let's see how good they are. Okay, the Kilimanjaro finally got it out of its package. It's pretty big. It's too big for an EDC or everyday carry. It'd be nice, but you gotta admit, this is about a pound. 16 ounces is a pound, and it's almost there. Be carrying that on your side all the time, you might as well carry a firearm. But there are many instances you don't need a firearm, you need something like this. But it'd be great for a backpack, it would be uh, great for underneath your car seat, truck seat, be great for the house, be great for the shop, be great for the toolbox. It's pretty good. Uh, the overall sides and casing are of light uh, metal, magnesium probably, the rest of it's stainless steel, the knife blade, there is a little bit of play. There's a little bit of play in all of this. Uh, here, whenever you pull something out, as with most lockback knives, you have a little piece of metal here that you push over, and that makes it easy to go ahead and come down. Ah, uh, that's good. Let me see here. Okay, the saw blade, let me just see. See if I can do this with one hand. You notice it clicks in. File over here, saw blade. That's a little bit tighter, which is good. You want to have a little tiny bit of play in almost everything. On the other hand, if there's too much play on any of these blades that are uh, brought out, it's going to wear quickly and be weaker. So here's your screwdriver not too bad again everything's stainless steel so really you can't argue too much about that as long as it's a high grade stainless steel here you got another one in there it's a little bit more difficult to get to unless I pull this up and pull that up and push this back down what do we got there bottle opener can openers uh, screwdriver not too bad seems to be well made there are a few instances. Now let's look at something here that I noticed. Because I, I already took a look at it. But something I noticed here. This here is a pair of pliers. Pliers, you can go ahead and use those for a multitude of things. Your handle, everything folds back. But, look. There's a lot of significant play in the cam area up in here. Right where it's hooked together. Now I could take that to my blacksmith shop, tighten that up a little bit, but obviously I'm going to leave some marks on it. I don't want to do that. 
it works it'll be sufficient but not for an EDC other than that for $20 it's not too bad again this is stainless steel and guess where it's made it's not made in the US made in China almost everything's made in China simply because of cost everything costs too much in the United States today to produce so most people most businesses outsource their manufacturing to overseas and I have to admit some things that we get in from China and different companies are well made this one here is not bad again it'd be like more of a survival tool something uh, you put in a pack or underneath your car seat toolbox etc or keep in the shop someplace uh, to carry that on your side each day is going to be a pain. Okay, it came with the flashlight. This is pretty good. Let me show you what the flashlight does. Obviously, it does more than light. Okay, it comes on. Hit it again, goes off, comes back on. You got your strobe. So your strobe light would be very good to have. If you wanted to signal, get a hold of someone. If they're looking for you if you're lost whatever signal that you can pick that up very strong Kilimanjaro for less than $20 right around 20 might as well say 20 I think it's a good buy so if you see it your Sam's Club or someplace else for about $20 or less why not pick something up it's always something good to have